Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you already knew from the title, today I'm going to be showing you how to get this Pamela Anderson inspired bun hairstyle. Um, it's actually really easy and it didn't take me long at all. So if you're interested in how I did it, then just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to apply your heat protection and any detangling spray anything that you normally have to use to just like get the knots out of your hair um and then you want to dry it to 70 percent which i have done and then in terms of the actual like styling these are the products that i'm going to be using so i'm going to be using this color wow bombshell volumizer which is just really nice for your blow dry it doesn't feel um crispy or gritty in any way it actually just feels really silky and like it, it makes your hair just feel really really soft and yeah like that's all I would describe it as it does also help with hold but it doesn't feel like your typical blow dry holding mousse you know what I mean it's a foam actually not a mousse and then I'm also going to be using a tiny bit of this got to be volumizing spray mousse just on the root literally just here um because I do want to get like the most volume right there just for the, the full Pamela Anderson effect this stuff is quite gritty like you're gonna you're gonna know that you've got this in your hair and then obviously afterwards I'm just gonna go with a hairspray okay so what you're gonna need a hair dryer a round brush and three rollers if you have them so I've linked these ones in my description but yeah so I want three rollers I'm literally just gonna put them along my hairline so I'm gonna put one here one here and one here and then the rest of the hair I'm gonna blow dry it a little bit more um, roughly, but the parts around my face are like gonna be the most important parts. So they're the parts I'm gonna start with. Um, also, I've got this hair dryer here, but I've also got my Revlon round brush. So if you don't have, or like if you're not comfortable using a regular hair dryer and a round brush, it would be fine to use a heated round brush as well like it'll do the same thing because as soon as you put them in the rollers as long as they cool down in that shape you're gonna get like a tight curl out of the cool okay so i'm just gonna start with this then i'll just brush it through just to like disperse it a bit more okay so then i'm just gonna start with this section here and I'm going to blow dry this towards my face. And then you can kind of see like the shape that that's going to give me. Just gonna again come in and set that facing my face so like towards my face in the same direction that I curled it okay and now it's time to tackle the back so I'm just gonna split my hair in half because it just makes it a bit easier to actually like navigate my hair. Also, I should mention, the more of a bend you can get in your hair during this process, the less work you're gonna have to do later when you put your hair into a bun. So I will be like twisting it a little bit and trying to get a little bit of flick at the end. And that'll just like save me work later on. top section we want to make sure we're giving a lot of volume Okay, and now this is what we're dealing with. So as I said, this is just like 
quite a rough blow dry. It doesn't need to be um, extreme spray. And basically this is just really good at giving your hair like body and volume. It kind of just makes your hair a bit bigger. So I'm just gonna kind of like spray that in. And then I'll take out these front sections as well. I mean, hello. It's, it's giving Pamela already, isn't it? Let's be honest. I'm actually also just gonna use a little bit more of this right here just to make sure that I don't lose any of this volume. Okay, and now what you do from here is actually really easy. Um, so what you wanna do, pick up your hair, and you just make sure that your fringy bits can fall out. So I probably don't want any hair longer than that. That bit's quite long, but I actually think it looks quite cute. So yeah, so you're just gonna get all of that hair in the top and tie it in a ponytail. Now, once you've got the ponytail, you wanna pull it out a little bit so that it's a bit looser, like that. And then if you imagine that you've got a donut in your hair, which you need to wrap your hair around, you're gonna like wrap all of your hair you're going to split it in the middle, like this. And then you want to scoop it up and, and tie that in a ponytail as well. So now this is what we're left with. And then from here, like you want a few pieces hanging out still, but take any like, take like sort of like the big chunk. You probably have like something that makes up the bulk of it on your head too and just get that and wrap it around to hide the hairband and then just clip that in place. And now you're going to start pulling pieces out of the top of the bun. And then just in general, I'm gonna just kind of start messing up the bun a bit so that it looks a bit more less structured and you can't really see what's going on. All right, so now that you're left with something like this, and that takes us to our next step, which is you wanna grab some straighteners. I forgot to mention earlier that you needed these actually. Um, but yeah, you wanna grab some straighteners and then Starting with these sections here, which couldn't fit in your bun earlier, you just want to kind of spread them out across your hair like this. And I'm going to start kind of putting a curly flick in the ends of all of them um, in all different directions, just so that they don't lie so flat on my head. And, and I'm just gonna do the same thing with these top pieces. So I'm just gonna go through and start kind of like flicking them and curling them a bit. Oh, it's quite a task, but you just want to make sure that it's all um, evenly curled. Okay. Like, just have a look at it and see if any pieces are too long or you want them kind of like clipped anywhere. Just have a fiddle.
Okay, I actually think what I'm going to do, because I've got a bit too much fringe out, I'm going to split my fringe in half, and then I'm going to clip this up here somewhere in a way that I think kind of like adds to the look. I think I like it just like this, to be honest. So annoying. I've just recently dyed my hair blonde, so I don't have any blonde clips, so I'm really standing out. Okay, so this is the finished hairstyle. I can't lie, I actually love it. It's a bit much, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how I feel walking down the street in this. I feel like, you know that um, TikTok filter and it was like, do you look like a hot 90s woman or do you look like a cigarette mum? I feel like definitely cigarette mum vibes right now. But I do like it and it does make me want to wear more black eye makeup. So this was the full tutorial. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you tried it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.